Millie, you ready for this? Let's tell them about the move. Yeah. Okay. Let's tell them about the move, shall we? Welcome back to the channel, guys. I am super excited to see you all. And I cannot believe that we're at this point already. It feels like just the other day that I was updating you all and saying that we were planning on moving back to South Africa. And now we are at the point where we have finalized dates and everything is getting ready to go. So let me talk you through the last couple of months. So we put the house on the market and we were very lucky when we went on with the estate agents, um, high street estate agents, we ended up getting somebody come and view the property within five days. They put down an offer, it was full asking price, and we were able to kind of just move forward with the sale relatively smoothly. We have since then gone through and arranged for the animal transport, which I'll talk to you about a little bit more. Relax, baby girl. And we have arranged for the shipping company to come and ship the contents of the house. And we now finally have uh, dates. So we are aiming to sign the contract literally this week and then the um, move date will be at the end of August and the reason that we have such a long lead time from signing the contracts to moving is because of this monster so Millie has to go to the vet on the 4th of August and have um, seven different blood tests um, don't tell her though <laughs> And um, then that's going to be sent off to Belgium and when they then get returned we'll be able to get her export health certificate to actually get her exported and out of the country and at the same time we'll do the cats and get their export health certificates. If I'm honest they have probably been the biggest headache to try and get home. There is such tight time scales on how long the bloods are valid for, how long the health certificates are valid for how and when they can fly um yeah it's been it's been a mission um but it'll be so worth it once we are home which we're so excited about the shipping company has been way simpler they sent us out a bunch of boxes and we have started packing we have started getting rid of furniture um and we're now in those like final five weeks of really asking ourselves like what needs to go. Um, so there's gonna be quite a lot to do over the next little while. I won't lie, in the last sort of two weeks while we've been waiting to finalize dates and we've been waiting to get all of the logistics to line up, I've been very stressed. <laughs> um, I've given myself a bunch of cold sores through uh, overthinking, not sleeping enough, um, and just generally not looking after myself well enough. So I have taken an active step back in making sure that I'm grounding every day, I'm doing my affirmations, I'm doing my meditations, I'm getting good sleep, um, I'm not kind of letting myself just get sucked into social media. I'm taking a really active stance at looking after myself, which is awesome. And it really amazes me after burning out previously, just being like so proud of myself for how quickly I notice when it's happening and how quickly I just reset and pull myself back rather than just plowing on like I used to. Now, the one big question that we've been asked loads of times is what is the plan once we get home? So when we land in South Africa, um, the animals will be landing a couple of hours before us so that they can go through uh, import clearance. We will then be landing and my dad will be picking all of us up at the airport so that we can head back over to the area that he lives in. And we're going to be staying with my aunt um, just down the road from my dad's house. So my aunt has got a five bedroom house and both of my cousins live in the UK. Um, and she is actually coming over to the UK for two months and has asked if we can house it for her. So we're not in a rush to buy a house and try and get that house to line up with the logistics of going home, which is such a pleasure. 
because that would just be one one level of stress I think too far so when we get home we're going to spend a couple of weeks house hunting finding something that we like and then deciding um, we've got a couple of options at the moment either buying top end of our budget completely done and decked out or buying slightly cheaper and going for a full renovation um, which is kind of what we're leaning towards at the moment because we really want a house that is completely ours and feels lush um, but we'll obviously wait and see what's on the market once we get there um, Jay has signed his contract for his new job so he is all set and ready to go when we land and I have got the business obviously that I'm going to carry on running as I do already um, and I'm literally taking a week off um, through the, the kind of move and then I'll be right back to it um, as normal. So we're in quite a good place. We have also already bought a runaround car. We feel very stable and very set up on both sides. We feel like this side everything is wrapping up quite nicely and on that side we're going to be good to go when we land. Um, but I'm sure that there will be more stories to tell you as we go along this journey. So if you have any questions about the relocation, anything that you want to know specifically, please feel free to drop the, um, on the, the question below and I will answer it for you. Um, one thing I will do once we have completed the move is I will let you know the final move budget. So how much it actually cost us to transport them, to get them all ready to go, to ship the, the house content, um, book our flights, literally all in how much it cost us to get from here to there because a lot of people have asked me what that looks like um, and any other questions that you guys have I will answer as well in the next video. I'm going to leave the next uh, like update video until after we are home so in the meantime there will just be more content around understanding yourself more deeply, connecting with yourself and how to look after yourself really well as you go through these kind of changing times. So I really hope that you are excited to be part of the channel. If you are, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel for future updates and make sure that you like and comment on this video to let me know what you think of the move process. If you have any questions, let me know and I will chat to you soon.